Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm super excited to announce this new feature in the NetLife platform. It's the Composite Creator. Now, more than ever, it's really important in the world that we live in that this feature has now been delivered. So I'm super excited to present this to you. Let's dive in. I'm now in the cloud-based admin of NetLife and more specifically in the checkpoint feature. The checkpoint feature is for viewing photographers' images and fixing their issues if they happen to have them. I have two classes today in my demonstration and I'm going to work with the class 2B. In 2B, there are subjects. And here is the first one. I have lots of images there. He's a good looking kid, of course. Uh, yes, he's my child. And there we have other subjects. And for the purposes of this demonstration, they are just dummy subjects or dummy images. Let's scroll uh, back up. As you'll notice, I have at least one photograph that is uh, favorited or I have a favorite tag. Um, and that will be the image that the system creates the composite image. Um, so let's go to the group picture now. I've simply uploaded a background for the composite uh, class image. You can do whatever you want. It could be as simple as a, a blank white background. Here, of course, I have the school as a background and some white below. Okay, don't forget to light bulb that as well as tag it gray. Let's now go and create that composite. Create composite. I'm now going to add a template that suits the amount of subjects in that. 27, click my class, and if I want, I could click multiple classes, generate, create group pictures, boom, it's done. It's now ready, and I can go and check it back in Checkpoint if I wish to, and here we go. It's now there for every subject in that group. And as you can see, it has the names underneath the images of each child. Let's now take a look at the end user perspective. That is the parents ordering their child's images. After receiving automated communication, they will then log in and look at what we are seeing now, for example. So a couple of features before we move on. Um, if you are a bit of a button clicker or can't decide on your images, more or less for kinder photographers, preschool, uh, and probably event photographers, we have this feature here. If you have too many photographs, we can select the favorite ones. So let's go ahead and select some favorite images. Uh, sure, that will do. Sure, I like that one as well. And then we can just see the ones that I've selected in that scroll bar. Let's now go ahead and select a pack. And in this pack, I have two sheets of 12 by 8, one and two. So instead of a 12 by 8 with a whole face of the print, maybe I don't want that as a parent. I'll simply change the design and let's order that. And maybe I want to do some pick and mixing here. So I can drop and drag that photograph into that spot. I could zoom in and maybe I want this photo here, a bit more laughing, a bit more variety, zoom in a little bit and adjust him there. Okay, you get the idea of what we can do there. Clicking on the next one, we can of course change the design again. And let's not forget about what we're here for, which is the composite. So here we can see our finished product ready to purchase. And add package to shopping cart. Yep. More upsells. Do I want another upsell of digital images if I haven't previously uh, purchased them? Sure. And moving on to the final part of the checkout, we have delivery options, which are free school club delivery. We have a store pickup. This is just here for the demo. I normally wouldn't have this here, but we also have the uh, career or post option as well. So you would basically follow through and purchase 
and that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration of our composite creator right through to the end user. Uh, remember, you're only two clicks away from creating your composite.